three dimensional view creation. Uh, in Revit, there are two types of three dimensional view. The first one, default 3D view, it's a orthographic three dimensional view. The second one, it's a perspective view. And uh, the third one, it's not uh, just a view, it's an animated video which you can export uh, in different video file formats uh, with different uh, video quality. And uh, now we will work with uh, the first and the second one. So, uh, if you want to create a third dimensional view, you need just go to default 3D view or just click the mm, top part of the button here. But if you uh, already have your three dimensional view with name by default, uh, Revit will open this, uh, this view. I'll rename it and say for example it's 3D section. And when I say view, 3D view, I'll save the new one, three dimensional view, without section, with settings by default. So here it is. If I'll rename it, 3D common, for example, like like that. When I say default for review, I'll receive the new one and so on so on. Uh, if you want to create a perspective view, you need to go to your plan, then say camera, pick the point, the start point, it's a point uh, of the place we are standing, it's a place of the camera. So, the second point, it's a view, uh, view depth uh, of your camera and its direction. For example, I look on the, this side. After you you'll define the second point, uh, Revit uh, will open this three dimensional view. You can modify its I elevation and it started elevation and you can work with colors and uh, with uh, and you can rotate your model uh, with your shift and uh, middle mouse key. For example, like here. All right, and uh, there are some special tools to work with uh, perspective view. Uh, it called uh, Super Wheel. I'll show you it on the next video.